Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me this afternoon and wanted to know how they could make a font look like the IBM logo. They weren't trying to reproduce the IBM logo. They just liked the look of it. I'm not so sure. So I just brought in a, a font, probably a, um, let me move this out of the way because it's going to give us some problems. I just brought in a text and, and what I would suggest is always make a duplicate of this text because we're going to do a couple steps where we could screw it up and might want to get it back. And it's really big. It's, it's a huge text. So don't go by, it's almost 400 points. Uh, but don't so don't go by my video on some measurements, but I made a rectangle That is the whole length of the font past it But it's only 0.5 one five uh, Thickness so we need to change our nudge factor to double that so we need a point three Because we're going to double the distance of that line every time So control D and make a duplicate and then move down one so what it's doing is leaving a space equal to the line. And, well, let me just continue here. And this is where I'm going to say when you messed up, because uh, that's going to look pretty good. Because that's going to leap. If that could be a little bit one direction or the other, you want to start that first box right on the line, because you don't want to take that top of the font away. And this other one's kind of split down the middle. And um, there's probably a way inside the blend tool you could probably, or something that you could do that. But then all you have to do, this is real easy, just lasso them both and go up to here to the trim button in the weld. And there you go. Now take your text and move it out of the way. Don't try to delete your lines. And it's a little bit off. I would you know, work with my thicknesses because the top of this E, but um, there you go. That's the way to create a font that looks like IBM. And that everything looks pretty good. You can tell that this line's thinner than this. So you might want to try like a 0.12 instead of a 0.15 rectangle, but that's very easily done. And, um, I might play around with it and see uh, if I could justify these a little bit better. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.